Hey, hey. What's going on, Knife Nerds? Got the Kaiser Sheepdog, regular size in clutch lock. It'll be in aluminum, 154 cm. Thumb studs, thumb hole. Man, it's a beauty. Got this fuller you can use also. Got to practice more. But yeah, this thing's nice. It's perfect with this clutch lock. Works so well, solid. All right, let's take this thing apart. Let's show you guys what it looks like inside. If you guys haven't experienced or seen a clutch lock version knife, it's pretty cool. All right, so this thing is actually T6s all around. And it's kind of disappointing. Um, seeing that it's such a big knife, I was expecting T8s. Um, the Escort aluminum came in T8s, I believe. All right, so just the pivot is T T8. Get out! Come on. Scales on pretty good. All right, there we go. Beautiful work. All right. So this version has only three holes. In the past, the clutch lock had five holes. I guess maybe they decided that um, five holes was too many. Because yeah, honestly, I don't see many people using the last setting the lightest setting um it's too light it's the knife just flops out especially with um a cleaver blade like this if the, if it was like a fifth setting back here it would just whoops, just flop in and out the blade is too heavy for that so maybe that's the idea behind it all right so let's adjust this lock um i'm just gonna put it in the middle just just because i want to show you guys how to adjust all right so let me get this up That's easy, right? So tonight after work, well actually I don't have time tonight, so maybe tomorrow. I'll do a video completely taking apart this knife, just so you guys can see all the little pieces. I have other videos of the drop bear and the escort, but it's always fun to make a new one for you guys. All right, let's go on this side. So what's great about the clutch lock, um, they also call this the Gemini system, like twins. The scales are, or the sides and um, springs are essentially independent of each other. So I can adjust each side one at a time. I don't need to take apart the whole knife. Like many other um, crossbar locks, access lock uh, style knives. You gotta take apart the whole thing. Well, this one, you don't. It's awesome. The pivots, um, what do you call it? D shaped pivot that's captive inside the scale itself. So I can, here, I'll show you guys. So I can take off both scales and the knife will still function. The only thing is the, <laughs> the spring. It's kind of exposed and you can kind of knock it, knock it loose or so, but let me show you guys. Oh yeah, this scale, this side is on much tighter than the other side. Nothing to complain about. Really good tolerances. I just, there we go. See that? All right, so let me make sure I don't cut myself. There you go. So yeah. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's get these scales back on. So if I weren't talking to you guys and 
explaining things. I can pretty much adjust these scales. I mean, uh, the Omega Springs in a couple minutes. Dismantling and putting everything back together. Like completely taking everything apart, all the bits and pieces. And put it back together, maybe. Seven minutes, I don't know. But it's pretty quick. Um, the engineering with this piece is very efficient. Very thoughtful. It's a good word. All right. Let's get these clips, these screws in the order. So one thing I I would change on this knife would be the clip. Um, I find it too too shallow and a bit wide. I mean, it makes sense because the knife itself is a, is a, is a thick boy, but it's kind of on the edge right here. You see that? And I like to keep my fingers right here to control the knife. And it just feels that it's so close to the blade edge sometimes. Don't let me out. Check the centering. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's perfect. But yeah, I would like this maybe angled a bit more, just so then I can kind of get more purchase on my fingers and maybe flattened out a bit, a little taller. Um, I was able to actually get the, what's it called? The, um, let me see if I can get the screw. I mean the clip. Do I have one in my mouth? Yeah. The contour clip fits. It's not an exact fit on the cutout. But it fits. All right, so all right, the escort. Love it. All right, so there you go. So I'm not sure if it actually looks better with this clip but there's more clearance for my my finger to grab onto you see that compared to how angled this is it tapers off too much for me and there i have more grip i feel safer i don't feel like i'm too close to the path i'm used to riding pretty close to this thing anyways but still you know just having that feel of of safety and comfort makes it more of a fun fidget yeah this clip works well with it too Mel melts right into the palm I, f I know it's there but it doesn't it's not a hot spot for me at all so maybe I'll carry it with this clip today yeah let's see how it works in the pocket it's a little bit deeper I believe just a tad deeper all right guys I'm off to work on a Saturday have a good one